the best. Britain on the best. Oh yes, Britain on the best. Britain on the best. Oh yes, Britain on the best. Oh, yes. In this video, I'll be creating something like an alien helmet and uh, nothing too planned out but the purpose here is to really show you how with just a few Z-Sphere strokes you can really create something fairly detailed very very quickly. I'm using Sketch Z-Spheres at this point and as I mentioned I'm just going to use uh, a very limited amount of strokes and the reason for that is, is each one of these strokes will retain polygroup information and we want to use that polygroup information later on in the modeling process. At this point I'm going to switch over to the armature brush which is going to let me stroke Z-spheres directly off the surface and create some tubes from this mouthpiece that I just pulled out. Now you notice on the first tube that I create here it goes directly into the surface but on the second tube I kind of miss the mark and what you can do here is actually grab it, pull it over and then hold shift to smooth that and it will follow right into the surface there. So at this point I'm pretty much done. I think a total of about five or six strokes to create the entire helmet. So now I can simply go into the unified skin pull down, set the resolution I want, and then click make unified skin. I always recommend switching your material type several times during the entire modeling process because each material will give you a different perspective on the model that you're working with. So at this point I'm going to start isolating specific polygroups. I'll do this by holding down the control and shift key and then click on the polygroup I want to isolate. I'm going to use the inflate for most of this to kind of give a different level to each one of these polygroups. You can see that nice crease that I gave there to the top of the helmet and then now here to the mouth guard. You can also see how that makes the tubes flow nicer into the surface giving a little bit of a hole there for the tube to flow into. I'll dock the brush palette and open up auto masking and I'm going to take my mask by polygroup up to 100%. That way I can use the move brush to just kind of pull the front of this face guard up without affecting any of the other groups around it. Now we've already seen how the Z-sphere strokes themselves can give us really exciting polygroups to work with. Let's create some new polygroups here by poly painting directly onto the model. So I'll colorize that. I'm going to use the layer brush and my RGB intensity at 100%. I'm just going to paint in a few dots here on the surface. That way I can convert that poly paint information into polygroups. And the way I do that is to go into my polygroups pull down and click from poly paint. Now that I've created these new polygroups on the front of the face guard here, let's clean up their edges by simply going into our geometry pull down and clicking the group loops button. This is going to give us nice border regions around each one of those polygroups. And just as I did before, I'm going to isolate that polygroup and do a little bit of an offset deformation here. I can select the group loop ring right around that polygroup and do an offset in a different direction. So you can see quickly between all these groups, you can really do a lot with your deformations pulled out. And what's really powerful about this poly paint to poly group workflow is that at any point during the modeling process you can pretty much add in new poly groups by simply painting on your model, going to the poly group pull down and click from poly paint. You can see now I have these new poly groups here on the top of the helmet. Again I'll click the group loops button to clean up the border regions around those poly groups. And you can repeat this process as many times as you want, simply painting in new polygroups, then isolating those polygroups, and either sculpting on them directly or using your deformations to create very interesting changes in the surface. And at this point I'm pretty much done modeling my alien helmet. I sped the video up about one and a half times, so the entire process took just under about eight minutes. So you can see how quickly by using your sketch Z-spheres using your poly paint information to convert that then to poly groups that you can then isolate and deform can allow you to create something very very fast. The rest of the video I'm just going to simply use the medium polish brush, some of the colors and materials to paint the rest of this helmet. I use the medium polish and some of the chrome materials because it gives me a really nice reflective look to the surface.
And just as the polygroups made it very easy for me to deform specific areas of the surface, the same is true while polypainting. I can use those polygroups to isolate a specific area and only paint that area. Then quickly show other polygroups and isolate those. Now that I'm done painting, I'll press Shift S to drop the model to canvas a few times, just so I can take a look at it from different angles simultaneously. And in this final step, I'll simply hold the Shift key to smooth out some of these areas. You'll see some of those group loops that I colored with different colors will start to come out. And I'll get a nice highlight of yellow right around the black ridges that run along the top of the helmet.